everyone and good morning <laughs> behind me you can see there is one movie i'm watching it's the gunjan saxena so i really liked it and it's the second time i am watching it and hi how are you doing it's the second sunday of this year and welcome to my first vlog so i decided that maybe i can just simply vlog today so it's weekend of course because on weekdays i'm usually working so sometimes like it's quite difficult to like really pick up the camera and start vlogging because i just want to keep sleeping until the cows come home <laughs> as you can see behind me there's still like some christmas decorations still there i decided i'm not taking them off until like the end of january because i still want to keep feeling festive happy usually in winters in europe it's quite cold and like the trees and everything is like quite bare and you don't want to like really feel happy or want to do something stepping out but today i'm in luck because it's quite sunny and i see like many people outside so probably they are doing their last minute grocery shopping so that they have enough food for Sundays because the shops are closed here on Sundays. So today uh, I thought maybe I can just simply vlog and show you what I do during the weekends because that's the only day I can vlog, right? So um, yeah, so and I'm quite happy that there is like a nice sun. So probably I will be going out as well today. So I'm up quite late, as I mentioned, because I just want to keep sleeping, but I have prepared my lunch as well. So it's quite healthy. So this is what I have prepared for myself. It's quinoa with mushrooms and some olives. And I will be eating this. And with this, there are like some soya nuggets as well here. So it's quite like high in protein and other vitamins. So I will be eating this so usually whenever i'm eating i also try to like check my gmail account facebook usually i don't have facebook on my phone because i get distracted a lot so some of the apps i just intentionally uninstall from my phone so that i can go and it takes like an extra effort to switch on my laptop and then check in over there but i do definitely like check those um, accounts because most of my friends are on facebook uh, through which I'm connected and I think like it's quite nice to like really stay in touch with people who are like um, far friends you could say I'm not sure like it's a right terminology but yeah so it's quite good and especially when you are in universities it's nice just to like give your Facebook account or your LinkedIn I remember when I came to Germany and my first months in the university i have been like sharing my facebook account and linkedin as well so that people can really directly connect with me there and then we can like in that way stay in touch the entire life right of course it also means that the other person should be using one of these social media platforms sometimes you come across people who don't even use linkedin so that's like a bit of surprise as well you might be um encountering so behind you you can still see like some of my christmas decor i will be showing you up close and yeah i have also made some like wreaths as well so it could be like really fun to like show you all those things so i have done like a um you can you could say like oil massage jumping jumpy yeah <laughs> jumpy in the morning so that's why it's, my hair is looking weird anyways like it's always weird <laughs> so i'm now here going to dig into my quinoa lunch <laughs> it's quite good because in europe usually you will be getting more food which is like faster ready to eat and it might not have like huge content of fiber which means that you need to like really consume a lot of maybe uh, fruits or intentionally consume like more multigrain items but i think like recently discovering this quinoa really helps and it keeps your stomach healthy as well so this is just one of the tip which i have learned quite late <laughs> um apart from this so what i usually do is that during my lunch i sit up sit down not sit up okay so what i usually do during my lunch time i sit down with my laptop and over there maybe i will uh, see some youtube videos in a bigger screen rather than on my phone but as i have like my phone with quite a big screen so it also helps and this was like my intention so when i bought this bigger one i really waited for it because bigger iphones are quite expensive so um yeah i mean you also have to take care of your eyes because you don't really get lots of 
brightness and you have to like really eat healthy as well so these are like some ways i really struggled or you could say like really had my time <laughs> and i have gone through some health issues and i've learned along the way so yeah so i sit uh, down with my laptop food and i enjoy either like youtube or i also check like my facebook account sometimes i'm also selling things on facebook so at right now like i'm selling some of my plants as you can always see like there's a like greenery around my camera these days so i'm selling some of my plants as well or i try to like swap it with people so of course i don't get a lot there but it's just nice to like give plant like a second life and at the same time like not just giving up uh randomly for free and might not be taken care of then so i'm selling that and i see this user is active so i will be now replying to her and dig into my quinoa food hello guten morgen um i'm not sure what is meant by okay i wrote wrong spelling it's morgen m-o-r-g-e-n So it's quite funny. So I'm using my Facebook on MacBook and whenever I'm using it on Chrome, the message is not opening while on Safari it opens, but it takes time. So I don't know why this is happening. I have tried to clear the cache, but it looks like it's not really resolving it. I have messaged this buyer and let's see if she will be coming today. If so, all good i will get some like extra pocket money over here so this is like another tip i am quite enjoying like so if you're watching my vlog you can also learn a little bit like okay so not only like how is life in euro but also you can learn like how what to do things like tips and some like um nuggets of information and knowledge around like yes yeah, so another tip that i have here is that whenever you're not using anything it's always good to like really post it on internet try not to be like a scammer or something which posts things that doesn't usually work or something like that so try to be like careful with it because you want to like establish like a very good relationship on in the marketplace not really spamming i remember when i moved out from germany i really sold like a lot many things and also given away so like i had like rice cooker then I had like a fruit grinder. I was making like smoothies in there. And then what else I had? I ended up selling a lot through the marketplace. In uh, Germany, people also use this like Telegram. So you can also install tel Telegram for a while where you can sell stuff. It was quite a surprise seeing people using more telegram than whatsapp so you know that that the more users are there in some other platforms if not on facebook or whatsapp and i'm also subscribed to like some of the whatsapp group which actually has like selling things going on so of course i found them through facebook and i got the link and then there on i added it into my whatsapp so this group is also like called buy and sell so it's quite good um, you can also directly sell it in over there and then people have like more trust because they can see your profile pictures and your number and everything. No way to escape, right? Um, yes, what else? So while I'm seeing my phone, one thing I reminded myself that these days I have now started making like things to do list, even if I'm not complying to it but now i at least started creating it and the next day i check if i have done all those work or not and then at least i get used to this format of living so recently what i have really um, struggled with and maybe it's the case only with me or with others as well so i would like to know if it's the case with you so as i mentioned like on the weekdays i'm working and there's a lot like right like so if you're working you go through like a lot of decision fatigue and just overthinking and then you have to remember some stuff in brain and really collaborate with people so it really takes like a good amount of your energy and your brain capacity but then moving into the weekends i always struggle like to really keep up my energy levels sometimes i feel like want to sleep all the time or 
uh, just enjoy life like right just waking up in the morning and instead of like doing anything like really pushing my brain i want to take things more easier in the weekend and therefore sometimes i just usually forget that what i have to do so i just go with the flow enjoy my life around like watch tv get quite like a slot bear um so and i think like it's it's quite good at certain level like because in, on sunday you can always do that but on saturdays when the um supermarkets stores are open that's the day where i can like really go and like if i have to post or if i have to buy things or if i have to like uh, maybe buy some more plants or anything else i can really get those things sorted right so saturday is the day and it's usually for everyone because on sundays things are closed and what I've been realizing that uh, since I take everything easy, I just ended up like <laughs> getting back to my senses um, around four or five o'clock. So then it's not very productive. So I thought like maybe if I start making like lists, it can really help. So I was just going through my list today and it can actually help like to even make videos so I can really tell you like what's my plan of the day and can really get excited and more organized so i'm using my app like on my iphone is the notes and i'm sure like you have all these applications by default on the on every phone even on android so here i have listed down so here on my list is that of course i have to do the vlogging and i'm doing it so i'm quite happy that at least i'm doing one of it then i was supposed to go for jogging then I have to do the clean so just after eating my lunch i will be doing a little bit of um winding up cleaning around so that i can get ready for the next week then i have to go to ali of course because tomorrow the shop is closed which means that i have to buy my groceries if needed today then i have to do some sewing so Behind me on sofa, I have laid down some of the garments that I need to like really fix and make it perfect outfits. I really, <clears throat> <laughs> I really enjoy like making uh, my outfits fit perfect to my body, and also it's because it's something quite creative. I have also made like a bag, so I will show you that as well. So day before yesterday, I just wanted to be more creative. Um, I bought a sewing machine which i will be unboxing in one of my videos so i tried to like give it a first try i ended up even breaking one of the needles in there so it was not a good start but then i got hang of it and it's quite nice like it's working quite smoothly so i ended up making like a bag for the shopping so it's like a shopping bag looks quite good so i will show you that then yeah so i will be like um fitting some of my clothes so it looks good for the work so those are, are like work outfit and yeah given my design background i want to keep up with that element in my life so those who don't know i'm a design graduate i have uh, of course my master's degree is more into management but then my graduation is more into design so i'm like designer at heart so yes yeah, so i will be doing that a little bit of like creativity in my life then i have to of course clean my hair then i have to like so um recently okay as pandemic hit and until now i was not able to go to home so probably i will be going home in the coming months which means that i will be vlogging as well um about my journey taking flight etc so watch out this space so i will be going home so i have to like really check the procedures check the flights and also like the covid situation what's needed so i need to do that as well today then one thing and it's like a secret and if you're still watching this video so i try to always incorporate dance in my life it helps in like really easing like stress and also it's like quite fun like to be more active and more healthier in that way so i found it quite nice to like dance every day i can like actually dance for four to six hours if if i get like a good circle and if the music is quite good i really like to dance so that's something i will be doing of course i won't be filming it's quite funny but just wanted to share here then if not dance then i might be doing a bit of stretching through yoga so usually i do yoga in the evening so my body is still active and stretched then i have to read some of the courses 
on Coursera. So this is another tip. Whenever you're in Europe and especially if you are like taking on a new role, it's always good to like really subscribe to some of the courses that are available on Coursera. They are really expanding their reach like in terms of their portfolios, of course, reach in terms of like the countries and different target audience. So I have to like do some of my readings there as well. And apart from this, there are other things that are still pending. So I may be right down into my list. So I have to like go to the library as well. Um, issue some of like German, new German storybook. So if you're in the process of learning German language, what I have uh, discovered and I've heard from my friends, what really helps, of course, is to like really listen uh, music, watch movies with those subtitles in German language. But apart from that, it's also good like if you can have books uh, that are made for kids so like maybe um books for like two to three years old kids with like nursery rhymes in there in german language that can really help to like accelerate your german language um learning process so i remember there was this colleague in germany she was actually a refugee so in germany um, they have like a separate program for those who are refugees and usually they like are constrained and they are limited to live and work in a particular area for a year or two and depending on like how their progress is and then they will be allowed to move on to some other cities. So this person was a refugee from Serbia and she was able to like learn German language within eight months of the time. And while she was learning, she was also like working in the company, which means that she was not having enough time. She was like just one of us. And given that, and I think like it's quite an inspiration story. Like if you really have the will, you can really make it happen, right? So I really believe in those things. And I guess it could be one of your um, New Year inspiring story, I hope, right? Like, so if you're really willing to make something happen, you, you will be able to do it, right? So that's one thing. But of course, you need to still take care of your mindset, your physical health. So don't deteriorate it in just like, um, willing to achieve something right like so I have to be always cautious about that so I have to read one book and I can see like my list is becoming more now like less feasible but we will see if not today I will be able to do it tomorrow stay positive you can see my big bag over there of my work bag <laughs> yeah everything getting exposed in this video so I will be reading one German book of course, it's a kid book. I will show you that if you still have time and library is open, I will visit and can issue and return the book. So I have taken like a library subscription. So it's around like 50 or something per year. So it's not a lot. And it also helps to like really fund these libraries. It's also good like because education is quite important and we need libraries so that people can continue educating themselves. So it's quite good like in terms of social front but also in terms of like educating myself others through that so it's, you could say like it's my donation if i'm not reading at all or using any of those books but at the same time i'm also getting benefited by issuing and really like supporting such institutions so it's this is one of the things i found last year and i'm sure i will be continue to renew my subscription if you are working in germany or in europe and you are like um filing your tax return so it's always good to like file because if you're filing tax return it could be that you will get more money back so it's always good to do that um in the first two years it might be very challenging for you to do it because usually these forms are like in german language but then over the years it will get easier especially if these forms or these refund can be done online so yeah you can also mention such purchases on the tax refund and you can get some money back that's another tip i can see that you are getting a lot of tips over here in this video so i'm quite happy like it's all coming from my brain naturally and i hope that this video is not like becoming um, boring me just chatting not showing you anything but yeah this is how my day will be looking like at least my weekend if not a day and now i will be finishing this and i have to charge my laptop as well and then i will catch you later <laughs> so i just finished up my lunch and i just thought maybe i could show you some books that i'm like reading at times 
when like I want to learn German in a fun way. Okay. Um, here, uh, these are two books. And by the way, I just noticed like my previous clips has this a bit of distortion of the camera. So probably I'm looking weird. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so the first book over here is the, um, it doesn't say like which age group it is for. So probably I guess it's for like five to eight years old because has quite a bit like um, difficult wordings in here. But I really like like this, description definition i can think on the side so here is like um stories what's going on and then opposite to it there is like a small section with like definition and icon so i guess this is quite interesting to like read and remember about like german words so i really liked it so for example this entire book is on like visiting to a dentist which i also need to do and also because of this, I am going to India because recently I have felt a little bit of toothache first time in my life, uh, uh, in my molar teeth. So the one that we use for chewing, right? So I am feeling a bit of sensitivity over there. So it's quite good to like use toothpaste like Sensodyne, but I really want to get it checked. I don't want to take any risk. <laughs> so anyway, so it looks like book written on me, my present life situation so yeah so it's a visit to the dentist and it's quite a good way like maybe to rehearse for me in case i want to go visit a dentist in germany so that's one book and the other one is a book of a guy um actually it's a boy finding a pet so i found it quite nice especially for the winter time because it shows shows like the entire setting is on in winters and it looks like they are selling books in the library so not selling so they're renting books in library um related to the weather so i really like this book it, this one is quite simple i didn't do that this cello tape thing probably one of the other kids but again so this book is quite good quite simple language so probably for kids like three to for it it's still i don't see anything written over here but if you want to buy these books it cost it lo it cost quite a lot so it's like around 13 12 to 13 euro this one and the other one is doesn't say here okay so i think like really borrowing it from library is quite a good deal <laughs> um Beside this, I do have like other books that I have issued. So it's not just kids book. I remember issuing some personal growth books, but sometimes I usually listen to that in Audible because I find it like not, you don't really need to focus on, you don't need to regularly read through it and you can just listen to it while you are doing things and can really absorb about life. I didn't like to like read books on, um, philosophical books so this is my bookshelf not a lot of things here but there are stationaries which you should always be ha having with you my diary when i actually started the youtube i can see that as well here and then you can see some like um marketing guru the kotler book is here then we have some like deutsche Lerne book then um, yeah, I think like I have written back all the other books I have issued from the library. But yeah, this is my mini libraries here. But these books are owned by me. So this is like a German language book. And again, there is a German language book, the other one here. So this one was quite a good one. And it's quite famous as well. So it's a Deutsch Sprachen course. This one which also had like a CD, it fell down. So everything was in German language. So for example, was meinen Sie, wer sagt was, lesen Sie die Texte und ordnen Sie so. So you have to like, even the instructions and everything is in German language. So it's not really good, this one. This one is quite good. And as I said, 
you can also declare tax refund on these things so those were some of my books and i guess that i have already showcased these books in one of my previous videos but it's always good to like recap it it also shows that whatever recommendation i have been giving it's really makes sense and i'm still using it and i'm really adhering to it so something like permanent and i'm not just saying it temporary so yeah um these are some of the books i have like can recommend this red one the green one is more for like if you have a tutor one thing i would like really suggest so books are always good to like learn german language because you can have more structured approach but in case you still look for like things for free through which you can learn the language there are also some free pdf available on internet it, which you can search and can read through it or you have to just pay like very small amount to get this subscription beside this we have like this um deutsche welle uh website which my german teacher has told me was like previously a radio station and then they moved into like developing these um german languages and also they have their own youtube channels where they are actually talking a lot about german news so anything related to maybe uh, immigration education anything like everything related to germany i guess they are talking about over there so i guess it's more like a non-profit organization and then they are like really creating these contents related to german language and through which they are able to get um um source of revenue besides this um these books so these all are like you could say academic books that i have i also have like a book on the personal MBA, which is like a snippet of the MBA program. I have done the management, so it's quite good to like go through it and like have um, crisp, concise MBA information in just one book. In terms of like a personal growth books, I have read like How to Be a Monk by Jay Shetty and then I read book from Vishen Dakani, which is the founder of Mind Valley, which is quite a good platform to up level your um self-development intuition uh get, gain more peace in life then beside this i'm also like having a book owned by me not like rented from library um it's this third edition of yuval nohar harari uh homo de homo Deus. so it's like a third sequence in the collection of the sapiens book so the first one it was quite famous which was the sapiens and then we have these this third edition here now then i have also read the first one the sapiens but the third one i own it by myself apart from this as you can see i'm standing here next to the um what you would say workout here or something so this is one of the things new addition to my life which i try to like <laughs> work on while watching netflix just fii so i was watching this movie on kunjan saxena so for those people who are like women especially watching this video could be like a good recommendation you should be watching it quite motivational and inspiring movie so i found it quite motivational and i'm quite happy like whenever i'm watching these videos i'm not like so much focused so i can always go back and watch them again and again so i'm watching it like second time and it's the story of like how this woman gunjan in this movie has become the first pilot in india despite of all the things going against it so it's quite inspiring so i won't be like giving you more detail go watch it by yourself so quite inspiring so there are some like really nice movies over there in the netflix so as i have told you i'm cleaning my space and this is usually what people do right like those who are working so just to let you know like these are like big blue bags in which we have to throw like the general waste item so as you know in europe and in most of the countries like in germany or even in switzerland it's very important on how we are disposing our waste and so for the generic waste you have to buy like something like this and you won't believe that it costs three per bag so like it's around three euro per bag so this is like three euro so don't ask me like when i'm not saving a lot so talking about the um packets that we actually use for the cleaning so these are like some of the plastic big bags that you will be receiving in your post box so that you can either donate them some um clothes shoes or you can also dispose it and put it outside so yeah you won't get this in the supermarket while the other one you get it in the supermarket so i'm now ready with my gloves <laughs> 
to start cleaning my kitchen and then hopefully be able to finish in an hour and the kitchen wash up everything <laughs> the reality of life in europe you have to do everything by yourself so these maids are quite expensive or not even available especially after like the pandemic why people just has gone to their own country it's quite getting difficult and i guess it's always nice to like do things by your own self because you can of course save but at the same time you can also um be more active right like unless you have something else to do that's more important so the kitchen is quite a mess right now Da, da, da. <laughs> not very good scene but this is the real life right so we are doing real life vlogging today and yeah welcome <laughs> So as the sun is setting and it's around 4, ah, I just thought that I will grab a cup of tea and usually I eat it like with a cake or with some biscuit. It's like tradition here in Germany. Um, so I thought like maybe over a cup of tea I can go through this book and then next week I can maybe swap it with some other books in the library. So I will be now reading through this. So you could say that now it's my German learner hour. Ur. <laughs> okay, so I will be enjoying my tea and I will then see you later. So, so as I have told you earlier, um, there are like the terminologies, you could say like the nouns on the right side of this book and what might teacher has told me like in German language it's good if you really learn the words with the the das so every um, object noun like has the the das and therefore it's always nice to just read understand like directly if you learn with the object what it is then it just gets easier so for example here das gebis their stuff house the Zahnbusten, then der Laste, das Gebisch, der Elefant, der Wurband, der Computer, der Rucksack, der Terminplaner, das Telefon. So if you learn these names of the nouns, as it is with dear didas then it's more natural for you to know like what it has before it the uh, name right so the name of the place person <laughs> object then you just know it by default so you know like there is like a there before elephant and the hanshue so you just know it already you don't have to like put effort in there of course there's like some rules what things has what like dear did us but i would say like what he suggested and i'm telling you that it's just easier if you know it as it is right sometimes in german language you have to learn things by heart you just know how it is because the explanation my teacher has given to me is that 
um, when kids are learning, they learn it from their parents, so they just know it how things are. And so, if you want to like really be more fluent, sometimes of course the rules really is important, especially when you're writing. But to be more fluent, it's always nice like if you just know by heart a few things, and rather than feeling, figuring out in your brain that oh, why is it like this and why not, it's not the other way, right? So it's just nice to like learn it by heart itself. I guess I forgot to like mention the important part. So of course, for those people who are quite new to German language, so dear, the das is being placed before the noun. Noun is of course the name of the word like animals or object, places, etc. So every um, object you could say has a gender like similar to the Hindi language. So the, in front of it, so for feminine words you use the and for the men word you use like there and for the neutral you use thus and that's what actually determines the gender of objects and therefore it's important that if you just know things that what's placed before that because it doesn't change it just gets easier so like as i said that before the elephant it's there which means that the elephant is masculine and then we have before computer it's there it also represents that the computer is a man. Telephone, it's thus. So it's neutral. So it's quite similar to the Indian language, but then it gets more complicated if something is feminine in Hindi language, and but in German language, it's not. And that is something like I really found quite interesting because in my brain, like growing up, when we know a certain language, we start seeing world in, a, in that manner. So for example, when we say that rain is falling, so we say in more masculine way, right? Like pani baras raha hai. So in the same way, like when we are saying um, let's drink water, pani pite hai. So it's more like a feminine version. So it's quite difficult for people when they are uh, trying to learn Hindi language. And I see that something similar is happening in German language. So here it could be challenging for us specifically those like indian speaker or some other language who has this gender uh, separation unconsciously our mind has like a certain way of looking to the objects we don't really realize it so we have like certain way we see world so for example kitab is more like the book is more like a neutral gender tree is more like neutral and it could be something different in German language. So it could be like feminine. So then your brain has like a clash happening. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm making sense, but something like I really discovered. And so, yeah, in short, if unconsciously due to our languages, we are seeing certain object in a masculine way, but in German language, it's feminine or it's neutral, maybe it will create like a bit of confusion. So yeah, that's, that's something like I learned recently. By the way, talking about the tea, I usually drink like flannel or ginger tea. It just gives a boost to the energy level. It doesn't have any caffeine. I'm usually don't do good with the caffeine. So it's quite good and quite cheap. Like you can get it easily from Aldi or also from Ejica or even from Netto and it costs like below one euro so some of them are like 60 cent or even 70 so quite like cheap and quite good for the hair so everyone knows the benefit of ginger and fennel quite good for digestion and stomach so highly recommend that not being sponsored as much as i want to so a good tip there <laughs> cheers so previously in one of my videos you might have seen me that me getting in a lot in gardening especially during the pandemic so i just wanted to show that my most expensive plant are you ready for it and here it is so this is like the most expensive plant that i have ever purchased so during the pandemic it was costing around like 600 700 euro for like the entire plant and of course now the rates has really gone down so this plant is like a variegated form of like a monstera and i found it quite fascinating so of course the older leaves has got like the signs of bun so as if you do not care or you are traveling or something and forget to like give it water or if you give him like extra water as well so then you will always see like these uh, brown thing happening around it but i just wanted to show you because i wanted to film it let's say that i wanted to add this plant in this video so that i can <laughs> 
show uh, him in my videos and can keep him forever on internet this plant is with me since um two years now and have never disappointed me it's still growing strong not like it's of course high maintenance if you want to keep it like this don't want its leaves to get burned but i'm quite proud of him so if he's listening he knows it so this is like one of the plants i try to like sell so that um if i do not have time at least somebody else can take care of it so usually like gives me like a decent amount of pocket money um i'm just seeing if it doesn't have any insects or something because these are like tropical plants so they grow more easily in like tropical places as in euro we have like issues with humidity so it doesn't like it so it always there are like some insects around sometimes which is quite normal right like these are natural things and it's normal for them to have things like pests but yeah so just wanted to film him and put him forever on internet <laughs> so say hi to him on the comments and say so yeah, i just want to show you this plant and maybe in one of my videos you will be seeing me like taking care of it so i have actually pruned it so that it can start growing like fresh leaves i have another one of it so here is the another one which was not doing so great um in summer so you can see like the leaves really got bad so i actually cut him and i can see now two stems coming out but the leaves are quite small now still struggling so you can say hi to him as well still we need like these cuts here to come out but yeah as of now doing great so far <laughs> yes so this was like my small garden with like some rare plants and i hope you have enjoyed seeing them ah like as you can see in the nice reflection i can see like a sun setting so i really enjoy this hour of the day the first reason is that it's not morning time it's evening and i get more excited and happy and energetic second is that it's just beautiful like sunrise and sunset I guess sunset is my favorite time it just tells that to wrap up everything wind up and take a breath reflect on life and relax everything is fine and everything goes back to how it should be beautiful so it just reminds that no matter how your day is at the end of the day you the things are still fine beautiful and Take a moment for yourself, reflect on life, and then next day, go with the full force, shine as bright as you can. So here, there was like this, a bit of motivation for you. And yeah. So for the grocery, I'm ready. So I'm wearing this really casual outfit. Usually these trousers and this um, jumper, I wear it for work from home. And I'm also carrying a bag so that I can like really store my phone because the pockets are not in big enough. Then some shoes that I don't really wear in the office, but I can always wear it for the casual purpose. I mean, I'm just going opposite to my home for the grocery. And yes, I usually record my videos in the iPhone because it's much more lighter and I can carry it everywhere. While my camera is not so good in like, especially situations where I'm vlogging, standing and walking around. So it's quite like shaking and doesn't have a good stabilizer. So yeah, so I'm ready now. I will head to the um, grocery and see like what kind of offers they are having. And the other advantage of vlogging on the phone is that you can also do it easily onto the groceries while they won't say anything while with the camera i often get told off and here is my old friend like four years old now quite like broken that's what i use for my groceries quite handy like really accommodates a lot of stuff in here so quite good for like specialty situations where i need to like grab a lot of offers 